Hello my lovely ravens, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chantelle and today I'm going to continue the Ravenclaw common room. Let me show you what I've done so far. Not much has happened. I had a little break from the Ravenclaw common room because sometimes these big projects are just getting the best of me. Let's put it like that. Here we have the common room. And as you can see, I made another floor. It's not stuck yet. And the spiral staircase is coming up from there. These walls are still removable, but I'm going to make a section here and over there so it can lean against that and then be glued into place eventually when I'm done with that, because this will have an arch. And then behind that arch, there will be a window. And that window will look like that. Obviously not purple, because we're not doing Doctor Who here. It looks a bit like that, but it's not. But that window will be in all four corners. When we look on the outside, you can see that I've marked out the lines where I need to cut out the windows. I think I'm just gonna get started and I will update you along the way for what I can show you. Let's go. I cut out those corners, which will be the windows. And look how much lighter the room becomes instantly. So. That will be the window frame, but then in black. And there will be windows, of course, as well. So I'm going to make them off camera. Just because it's just a lot of cutting involved. And, um, you know, it's not the most exciting part of this common room. But I did want to share this progress with you and process. So it will be similar to this, uh, which was in, I think, video one or two. So yes, I'm going to do that and then I'll be back with you. And you know what? I cut out one too many because that one needs to be the library. So see how that just pops out? I'm just going to glue that back in. All right, there are a few things that are going through my head right now. I can do the library first, because uh, I just closed that gap. Um, or I can do the windows first, and I kind of want to do the library first. So I think in this video, you're going to see me make the library. And then I think I will make the windows, and that you will see that in the next video when they're all done. So I have this circle, uh, which is just simple plywood. Um, how big is it? No idea. Mm, around about five inches in diameter and the, the stairs about the same uh, this one's slightly bigger which it should be because it's a library uh, I think it could be even bigger than this but I'm going to go with this um, because it's very narrow and tall so around this i'm going to build a wall the wall is going to be made from a pizza box now i tried this around so this part will be on the inside because it's smooth and that will curve around quite nicely because it's corrugated so that will curve around like so this is cut on this side so i can't really use this one however i've got this one and i will show you how i take the layer off to make it to make the corrugation show so it's not hard it's uh, an easy process you just need to do it so to do that corrugation you're just gonna spray the surface not too wet I'm just gonna rub that in with your hand And then you can slowly start peeling. It needs to soak through to the next layer. So if that next layer has not been reached yet, you can spray that a bit more. And then you can just easily peel that off. Like so. Not hard. And 
and I'm gonna continue this whole process until I've got this whole sheet clean because I need most of it. So once you're done with peeling all the bits off, the large bits, then you can spray it again and brush it with a paintbrush to get all the little fluffy bits off. And then you're left with a clean piece of corrugated cardboard with still a smooth back. And I'm gonna let this dry. And then once it's dry, I'm going to attach it to the circle and then attach, well, attempting to attach the, um, the shelving for the bookcase. I have glued the cardboard onto the base. I have a top as well. So this thing is 26 centimeters high, which is the height of the floor before the actual, this floor goes on. And from a sheet of plain printed paper, I found the middle of the thing because I wanted to make sure that the shelves are deep enough and then that that distance, can you see that? That distance will be the shelving around. Um, and I measured that with this thing. So now I need to make shelves, which is this measurement. And then I need to make a cutout of this measure measurement and then cut two parts open so it can slide in. That's why I left the top open so I can just slide in the, the slices and then build that up from here and then put the top in. Um, I think before I do all that, I'm going to paint the back a very, well, first black and then a very dark blue, or maybe white and then a dark blue because white makes the blue stand out a bit more. And then on the inside, this is the table runner that I wanted to use for the chairs, but I didn't in the end. So that is going to go right there on the inside of that library. So that is nice. It's basically going to be a one person stand in library kind of thing in this common room, in my version of this common room. <laughs> and what I want to do is to give it that even claw look i've got some blue lights and i think some blue lights in here would look really nice you cannot see that on camera but um it is pretty blue so that is what i'm going to do and uh yeah let's cut out some foam So instead of going with painting on the inside, I'm going to put some wallpaper in. Um, I'm not going to cut strips. I'm just going to glue this right in uh, the way it is because I like it and it looks like bronze. Now for the lights, I'm actually going with this um, warm white uh, because it's just a bit nicer for this wallpaper and in this library. Uh, what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to put strips of paper on the inside here, then glue them in. I've glued it all with uh, Fabri-Tac glue and just going to gently pick it up if I can. <laughs> and glue it into place. And the reason I'm using Fabri-Tac is that I can still move it around as when I use hot glue, I cannot. There we go. The inside of the library. Pretty happy with that. I'm just going to reattach that wall on this side because it came loose. But then I can also attach the carpet. I got somewhere. Well, sort of, kind of. Um, doing this another time not for this video so this is my wall that's falling over but I finished the library well sort of nearly so this is the interior of the library I am really really happy with it what I what I will do still is um, 
I will add a bit of black acrylic paint just to cover up those edges uh, that are hot glue. Uh, the rest of the, um, the shelves is glued in with wood glue against the uh, paper at the back. So at the top and the bottom of the shelf, I put wood glue. So this is all nice and sturdy right now. I let it dry with um, rubber bands around it. So it's, it's all snug and, and, and perfectly round. And then at the front here, I want to put the ink on, the bronze ink. So um, yeah, it has a little bit of that feature. Then at the top, I had the same circle as what I used at the bottom. And what I did, I did also put in one of those shelves and the lights. So now it has lights in there. So it doesn't really show up because it's a big ring light that is shining down right now. However, it, it does work and it is pretty cool when it's, uh, when it's in the diorama. So without further ado, uh, let's, uh, I, I think I'm gonna glue this in and then place that in the corner. I'm just gonna take this off for now so I can show you something else. So if I put my, my wall here, you can see I have a little bit of a gap there. See that? It's about a finger width. So what I thought to do is from more of this pizza box, make a column that looks something like that. And then put it on the side and put another one on the other side as well, just for decoration. And then I'll probably put some here as well and um, on the other side as well, just to have the columns throughout the diorama. And uh, yeah, now I want your your um, your opinion on something. Maybe uh, you can give me some suggestions in the description box below. There is obviously a, a gap there. And let's see if I can get it in frame. There we go. This is where that window will sit. So that window will be like that. And then the wall will sit somewhere there. Now I have space there to put some, a bench or pillows on the floor, or I want to make it a reading nook. Now, let me know in the comments down below what you would like to see me build there. Um, I'm open to suggestions and we can do something together. Um, I was thinking just putting a big pile of pillows on the floor and do that and maybe make some reading nooks in the top floors because we have another two windows that are out of sight right now, but they are really there. And um, yeah, so let me know what you what you, what you think I should build there. Um, just the pillows on the floor or um, a study nook or something like that. And let me know how you would like me to build that. I'm gonna finish that library. I have a lot of books from received from one of you. So there are some special books, but there are also books from Nandy McCormick. And she sent me a whole bunch of books. And uh, these are title books, 205 of them. These are Harry Potter specific, which some of them I will use because there is a history of magic. When Muggles Attack, Gildora Lockhart, those kind of books, Hogwarts in History. I will add a few more of those books as well, uh, but the actual Harry Potter titles I won't add, obviously. And then she's got a, she sent me a whole bunch of these non-titled book, title books. So these would definitely go in there. And I have another few uh, larger books as well. So I will put those all in there and then probably even glue them down. Thank you so much, Nandi, because it's, it's really, really big help. I'll build that up. And then um, I won't cut the columns yet because I want to know what I'm doing in that corner. Uh, but when I'm finished with the library, I will show you the end result. This is the library before all the books are in. And this is the final library. I am super happy with how this library turned out and having all these books already made for me saved a big deal of time. 
There are 252 individual books in this library and six crystal balls, which are marbles glued on metal bead caps. All my social media can be found in the description box below. And if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and bell notification button so you don't miss out on any future videos. And of course, become part of the Raven family. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.